Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to use an adjustment layer in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've talked about this a little bit in the past, just in some of my other tutorials, but I haven't explicitly covered this yet. And so this is an adjustment layer. What an adjustment layer does is it allows you to affect all of the layers of basically footage beneath that adjustment layer. This is really helpful because you can add one layer and apply the same, for example, coloring effect to multiple different layers without having to copy and paste them on or use the master tab like we've talked about in a previous tutorial as well. So you can see that I've applied just one Lumetri color and all of the pieces of footage have this color. And then if I drop this out, you'll see that it just goes back to normal and then it, yeah, there's no effect applied. And that's what an adjustment layer does. You add effects to it and everything beneath it gets those effects applied. So adjustment layers are really easy to create. The best way to create and add them is down here with the new item button. You can do it up here with file and new, but you have to make sure that you are selected on the project tab down here. Because if I'm selected on the sequence or over here or up in the top left, if I hit file new, it'll be grayed out and I won't be able to create a new one. So what you wanna do is you wanna click down here. And the reason this is such a good place is because right when you click the new item, it's always going to default select this. And then that allows you to always create an adjustment layer. So once we have one created, just make sure it's the same settings as your sequence and then click OK. And then all you have to do is just drag it onto your footage. And now any effect that you apply to this adjustment layer will be applied to all of the layers beneath it. So for example, we could go into effects and we use Lumetri for the beginning example. We could use something, really anything. I could use, um, let's look at distort. Let's do something like that. Let's go with a, let's go with a sphere eyes. Something, something drastic here. And now you'll see that if I increase the radius on this, that that sphere thing happens in the middle of it. If you see that little bubble happening in the center there. See it getting larger and smaller. Well, that's going to be applied to all of our footage now. And you can see there's the bubble happening in there as well. And then the bubble is happening over here and it goes away right when we get to the end of the adjustment layer. So we didn't have to add that to all three of our pieces of footage. We we're able to just add it to these different footage, pieces of footage. Now, what happens if I took this and dragged it above the adjustment layer? Well, now you'll see that it goes back to normal because the adjustment layer works downwards, meaning everything beneath it is going to apply. So you can exclude things by bringing them above the adjustment layer like so. And we could name these as well. So for example, if we come back into our project here, we can name this, so for example, um, like something like middle bubble. And what that'll do is when we actually drag it in, it'll give it a new name, middle bubble like so. You gotta name it beforehand. And let's see, we need to re-add the effect in. And the reason that this is important is because we can actually create this effect right here. And then we can stack adjustment layers on top of each other. So once I have the effect added and created, I can create another adjustment layer. So let's go into here and let's go to new and then adjustment layer. And we can click OK. And let's give this one a name like uh, Lumetri. And so this one could be like our color correction. So if we add them on top of each other like so, we can adjust them and you'll see that the sphere eyes is still happening to this one because this effect is being applied to this and to this and then this effect will be applied to this. So now if I go into my effects and I go into Lumetri, which actually it's probably best to just try to find it or to go to the color tab because it likes to bring up every single effect right down here in color correction, drag and drop Lumetri on here and we could add something like a um, we could go into basic correction and add the colors really be really strong into the orange or blue side of things Tint it a certain way, you know do anything that you want here Just add your color correction stuff to it and once we do that these all will now stack on top of each other So now we have this piece of footage, which is completely excluded We have this next piece of footage, which is going to be color corrected and have the sphere on it So you can see it has a sphere in that center and then the color correction and then the third piece of footage which only has the middle bubble on it so you can stack these um, effects to apply to certain areas and to certain sort of segments of your clips but that is the essence of an adjustment layer it's really great if you have a really long sequence you know five six minutes 10 20 an hour and you want to apply something to the entire sequence maybe you want to apply a vignette to a whole scene or some sort of um crazy effect like this to just a few different ones that you don't want to have to copy and paste and especially 
because if I wanted to change the radius, all I had to do is change it like on the sphere, and now all the clips are changed. Imagine if there was 40 clips with this that I copy and pasted. That would get really hard to manage over time. So your answer to that is the adjustment layer, allowing you to add effects to as many clips as you want as long as they're below the, the layer. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.